just an update after a day. Um, as you can see, I've done the pathway, this side from Paddits, and the pathway from this side, I'm gonna have a pathway going across to the raised beds, and then one pathway going there, and then right again. So around all the raised beds. So I just water it to let it settle down. Um, at least I can see there's a problem here, obviously with the dra draining and stuff. So I need to redo that pathway just because the water doesn't settle down easily. But as you can see that I've cleared most of the grass, made a big flower bed here where I can plant many, many plants. There's gonna be a flower bed at the back here around the trees. As you can see, there's a, a edger uh, to divide the flower bed and the walking way. And that's all the stuff I'm gonna do still stuff to do around the uh, sorry for the bit around the apple tree i'm gonna plant strawberries here like here like that one i'm gonna plant just normal strawberries and there's a stone stuff stony stuff under the flower um birdhouse so i thought that i would just place the birdhouse here anyway because i wanted a birdhouse anyway so just a walk we here that's it and under the walkway to the corner of that race bed and that's just an update of how things are going so this place is now finished just need planting and stuff flowers and that's the only space that's left now which is just the flower that flower bed where it's mostly going to be grass and some shady plants such as hostas and hookahs and stuff like that, hellebores, um, and that's it. And that's just gonna be a big flower bed. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just gonna give you a bit update on how the garden is doing right now and the project I'm nearly finished with. And you can see it's a bit mess right now. This area looks all right. Um, and we have a table here our stuff and then let's just go around I have a plant stand with 17 coleus plants which I sowed from seed I just planted them today you can see I just want them to have different colors that's the raised bed where I have my mint so that's peppermint I have here on here just two trays random trays with some apples and um, sown from seeds kiwi sown from seeds and I'm trying to sow some cherries and these are um, Shasta, Alaska Shasta daisies and then these were the original place where the colgis were sown so I haven't done a big update right now but I'm just going to show you so this is the new cherry tree I bought this year in February March time March April time can't remember um, there have been three or four cherries on it. Um, the birds have eaten it. Only We only tasted one of them. It's grown quite big because the cherry Stella I had previously died um, last year, didn't grow. Um, this year I bought cherry Hedelfinger. It's also a sweet cherry. So let's go to the new pathway. And this pathway is basically, you remember, you might remember there was grass all over the place and then border from, i made a border like a square border from here and the tiles were under the grass so the tiles were already there when we moved here as you can see i just um dug up the grass and the soil and here the tiles so i just thought it would be a pretty pathway to the bench and the bench we're going to renovate into a beautiful bench so we can use and utilize it so you can see we have a border here um small border because of the pathway made a border and that border is going to include every year um, different kind of annuals I'm not going to plant any perennial stuff because that's going to be too much for perennials I want to be different stuff every year here some marigolds and a begonia this year um, here's the strawberry tower which I'm going to remove and plant the strawberries in these uh, raised beds like that one that's just pure strawberries I've used 
weed barrier so that straw the strawberries the fruit can actually rest in, uh, on the weed barrier instead of the soil let's go here you can see that's the blackberry bush um it's grown quite a bit i need to staking you can see some blackberries forming that's beautiful i have many blackberries right now it's good. they're gonna grow yeah cluster here and those are the new branches that's the um blueberry bush i bought last year and that's growing as well as well i'm just gonna um remove that that was the black one it died and didn't make it and that's two borders you can see I just cut up the um, pallets into that so that I can make a pallet walkway and um, the pallet walkway um, is really beautiful for me I thought that was a good way to basically narrow down the border because first I thought I, stri I made a straight um, pathway but that gave me like a big border but the thing, uh, the thing was that um, you can't just plant anything in that big body. You just you just think about that, and I was I thought then that just have a curve so that it makes like two borders, two small borders, where you can plant and arrange plants easily. So you can see I have a border here. Let's just walk on that pathway. I didn't use any kind of um, screws or stuff to fasten these. These. I just put them in the soil, buried them. That's it. I planted some Rebecca's, Rebecca seedlings. You can see I planted how many? Um, six Rebecca seedlings, and then those are gonna be some Dianthus or Sweet Williams. You can see some marigolds. That's it. And I have a big border there as well. You can see that those are Daisy Shasta, Alaska. Alaska daisies, a circle there, and I'm gonna press some foxgloves. Um, let me think more foxgloves, stalks, some hydrangeas, some roses, maybe. We'll see. A, think about that. And those two is gonna be just the strawberry tower. And that's a new border as well, a shady border. I'm gonna. I'm still have to do some work at the back. Remove the grass. Remove that potential tree remove that tree and just leave that and the apple tree i'm gonna plant some hostas hookahs hellebores like think that shady plants and i still need to do some pallet walk we're here i'm gonna have a pallet walk here going from here around this raised bed until there i just need to cut some more pallets you can see the mess that's the messy side of the garden you can see the grass i need to cut that that's the apple tree I cut back and it's grown a lot. That's a good thing, it's grown huge. And that's a bird, um, bird house. Go usually put some bird food and bird water for the birds. Um, there's been a lot of changes in the garden since um, this year, start of this year. I was thinking basically just to do some changing because I'm stopping vegetable gardening and stuff like that. I'm just gonna do fruit garden, flower garden, and that's it. Less edibles, more flowers. You can see this is the new grapevine I bought this year. This is the first grape on anyway. Um, this is called grape, I think white or something like that. I'm gonna put the name on the screen. Uh, that's a grapevine. You can see it's grown quite a lot as well. I bought like two, three months ago. That's our avocado. We grew from seed, I think two years ago, one year ago, last year, I can't remember, but it's grown quite big. You can see how big that is. And that's how the gardens are looking. And at this time of the year, I still need to do some work. And then, I need to make another update on the front yard where there's been changes as well with the plant arrangements and I bought a new arbor and stuff like that. So I just hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!